Hello dear ones, it's Alice. So, I have a way of restating the things that have been happening lately. You know, they say we're heading through the fourth dimension right now. From the third dimension and into and through the, the fourth dimension towards the fifth dimension. Okay. And uh, what I'd like to say is that while this process is called by some ascension, and by others as a second coming of Christ or Christ consciousness. It's not really a rising up, upward, and it's not really a meeting of a person. Rather, it's an expanding outward to encompass different dimensions. And inward, I guess you'd say. Yeah, outward and inward. So this fourth dimension that we're going through right now, as you know, we're retaining our physical bodies and we're experiencing, some of us are now experiencing the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is the land of emotions and dreams. And, and these emotions are what give the oomph, the power, to our expression of creativity in the world. The, they give the, the like, they're the gas pedal and the, the, the mental ideas, the thoughts that we have, they're like the car. So without the emotions, our car of, of the mind wouldn't get anywhere in the physical world, okay? Now, so right now, what it's all about is the emotions, is discovering which emotions give us the right kind of power to create the right kind of world for ourselves, all right? A lot of people, emotionally, they're not in touch, actually. Or else, they have a habit of experiencing negative emotions, if you get my drift, okay? So when we experience negative emotions for whatever reason, we create for ourselves a negative reality. And until we start mastering our emotions so that we can, we can fine tune our creative ability, we are not going to make it into the fifth dimension, which is a realm of love and light. All right. So we have to learn how to master our emotions First, to feel our emotions, to feel our heart, which is the source of our emotions. And then to begin to notice how to change our emotions at will, no matter what our external circumstances. According to Tom Kenyon, the most use useful emotions during this time, this fourth dimensional ex learning experience, are, are simple emotions like positive emotions, like appreciation and gratitude and these are emotions that everyone can feel we can't start off with like unconditional world for the entire universe but for every um, unfortunate thing that happens to us we can say I appreciate for instance that I'm aware of what is happening right now I'm a, I appreciate the fact that I'm alive and breathing through this experience I appreciate that I can, I can sense this emotion. I'm aware of this emotion. Come up with something. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay? So, so this is the process right now. We are creating our own reality through our emotions. And um, I have some information that I read recently from Arthur Powell that I'll append uh, probably on the WordPress site. To this because it's kind of in depth explains the astral plane as that uh, realm that that creates actually they call it desire it, it's a realm of desire and emotions are are more um, a combination of of the energy of desire with the energy of thought that creates the reality but most people, they think of emotions as just, as, as just desire. I want this or I want that, right? So it's kind of combined together. <laughs> so you'll see. Anyway, something to think about. 
How am I feeling right now? How can I change what I'm feeling? What do I really want to be feeling? What emotion, what desire do I want to express? Do I want to express a desire for, for lust? Do I want to express a desire for aggression? Do I want to express a, a feeling of greed or jealousy? Do I want to express a, a, a feeling of, of nationalism? of loyalty only to family and to heck with the rest of the world? Do I want competition in my life? Do I want to strive and struggle for work? Do I want the world to live in poverty? Do I want to see any more wars in the world? Would I like to have abundance in my life? Would I like to have joy, love, <sighs> everything? You know, just think it through because this is the time when we can make it so. Like they say on Star Trek. Uh -huh.